Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time, and today you're probably thinking, Ashley, Harry Potter is not that old, and you are not wrong. I got started on it thanks to Millennial Movie member Chris, 1000th Ghost, and then I just kept adding the sequels and the continuations onto polls and they keep winning and honestly, because y'all want me to, and honestly, I'm really having a great time watching Harry Potter for the very first time. So what happened in the third one, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban? I thought it was gonna be Hagrid's backstory because we know that Hagrid served some time, but it turns out it wasn't that at all. We found out that Hermione had the little time, was it a necklace or am I getting that confused with Avengers and Doctor Strange? Anyways, Hermione had like a time thing that she could essentially be somewhere, rewind time, and then be in the other. So she was doing her classes and like other stuff at the same time. So anyways, then Harry had to use it to go back in time and Dumbledore knew about it. Um, we also found out about the, what are they called? Um, their ghost forms. That's not the right thing, but like Harry Potter's dad was a deer or a stag and you got the werewolf dude, but I think he's gone. He was packing up his stuff, so I don't think he's a teacher anymore. I don't know if he'll come back. We found out that Ron's rat, who he has had for like 12 years, actually turned out to be Peter Pettigrew. Harry got another new broom from Hagrid this time, I think, and then- They're not gonna cancel a Quidditch game when it's storming like this? Oh my God, how am I forgetting this? Dementors, they were incredibly scary, and I will say this, although this is only the fourth movie, like I'm, what is there, seven or eight? I really love how each movie progressively gets more mature and a little darker as the main characters grow and mature and become, you know, more ad adult-y, adults. <laughs> I really like that about Harry Potter so far as well. Is there anybody that Snape doesn't have beef with? Also, I'm re-watching my previous review because it's been over a month, so almost two months. Anyway, so I'm watching my own review to remind myself what happened in that movie. Also, this is a mimosa at 4 p.m. in the evening. Correct. She's too logical. Did Harry save himself? Is that what happened? Well, it turns out- Oh, so I'm really glad we watched that together in this moment because I also have not read the Harry Potter books. And so luckily I was reading some comments and it said that in the book it went into more detail about the stag being Harry's dad and like going into more detail about the, um, I can't remember what they're called, but like the ghost animals <laughs> that they become. And the stag was like Harry's dad coming to protect Harry. Just letting you know that I'm caught up on that. And Harry not see him because Harry was looking at the ground for a rat and he was looking for a person. Wow. Critical thinking, friends. A big brain okay, energy so right there, me. Wizard. Okay, enough of listening to me and being me and talking to you and getting all of me all at once. Anyways, okay. Oh, how am I leaving out the biggest part is um, the actor that played Hagrid, Robbie, he passed away in early October and, you know, just like with Loretta Lynn, usually when an actor passes, I like to watch something in memory of them. So, but it was during Halloween, so I didn't do that. And anyway, so I'm glad that we're back in Harry Potter. One, because I love it. Two, because I can't believe I'll let Robbie's passing because I love Hagrid. And I'm big upset that like Hagrid's, the actor that played Hagrid is gone. Um, although I think Harry Potter is like finished out though, right? Like there's no more Harry's. No more Harry Potters coming. Honestly, I feel like Harry Potter movies, they all start with a new school year. Harry and somebody else gets into some mischief. Somebody in the trio has to come save the other people. And now Dumbledore has become like more cool with the kids, with the dudes. I was gonna make a reference to Marvel, but Doctor Strange calls it the cauldron of the cosmos. So not the same thing, not even the same universe, whatever. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into this millennial movie Monday, which is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Also, prr, usual. That's the mimosa, that's the mimosa. Is, um, I'm wearing my Potter Cat shirt. This is an even spookier intro, like Warner Brothers thingy. I'm excited about this. Immediately, no. Oh, is that the snake from like the first or second movie? Yeah, yep, it's, it's a different intro. Something else we haven't seen since first movie? A unicorn, I would like to see more unicorns, please. 
Nah, man, you gotta leave that alone. I don't know what lights are flickering. It ain't your business. Is that Peter Pettigrew? What chicken hand is that? Yeah, same, same. You're doing better than I would have. I would have shit myself. Oh, that snake told on you, old man. Was that Baltimore with the little chicken hand? Hermione, this is not the 1800s. Turn on a light. Wake up, fools! <laughs> you gotta cover your goodies. This young man must be Cedric. Am I right? Is that a dude from Twilight? Is that the man? Is that um? Merlin's beard. Whatever his name is. Nothing in Harry Potter is as it seems to be. The train station, the boot on the grass. Oh, well y'all just have a graceful landing. I love that for you. <laughs> well, that is so cool. How are all 27 y'all gonna fit in there? This is Harry Potter's universe. Ashley, stop asking questions, questions about logic. That's not gonna happen here. I was gonna say, how is Harry still amazed at this after, you know, four years of wizard school? But we're on the fourth movie and I'm still amazed by the magic. So you know what, Harry? I respect that. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Boo! Do enjoy yourself while you can. Uh, excuse me? What does that mean? You know, I'm not a sports fan. Um, but let me tell you something. If Quidditch were in the real world, I'd be a big Quidditch fan. Oh, uh, what? The stadium is wicked! Okay, that's how you know you made it. When a video of you is watching current you fly past video you. That's how you know. Oh yeah, Ginny, how are you? Since you got like kind of possessed by Baltimore. We never really talk about that. I saw pointy hats and I was like, KKK. So is this whole movie going to be spent finding Hermione? Because we have to do that immediately. Hey, that's um, I don't know his real name, but I think he's Doctor Who. I think. Oh, um, the snake, the scar hurting, Baltimore. So is that the mark or is the scar the mark? That has to be the mark. That has to be the mark. Okay, very intricate mark. Harry, don't be looking at her like that. Um, I want you to be with Hermione. Okay, I wanna ask this in the comments for real. If you got to choose your animal starting Hogwarts, owl, cat, or toad, are there any other options? I'll ask it later. My answer, it would be very hard to choose between an owl and a cat. I would ultimately go with a cat. Oh my God, are those Pegasus? I wanted unicorns, but Pegasus are so much better. What in the Pirates of the Caribbean is this? <laughs> he runs like I run. Oh, they're all matchy matchy, which I guess everybody at Hogwarts is too. Okay, Hogwarts doesn't do that. Ron is in it! That's one big woman. <laughs> well, I thought she was normal until I saw her walking down that aisle. She is a big lady. This is so dramatic. For what reason? <laughs> Hello? Who is that? Three. Okay, so it's gonna be Harry. Harry's gonna get chosen. It's just it's just how this goes. Who is that man? Cyborg technology, love that. No student under the age of 17. I respect that decision. It uh, sounds hard and vigorous and scary and dangerous. I found the Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire! Found it. <laughs> Why put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Like what power does the Goblet have to choose whether or not you're worthy? Is it kind of like the sorting hat, but like whether or not you're good enough to be in the Triwizard Tournament? I'm here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Good. <laughs> okay. Very welcoming. Which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? 227. Three, sir. And they're so named? Oh. Only three. You're too young to see what these curses do. I say different. This is not going to go well for anybody, I feel. Okay, so the eye works in all directions. Give us a curse. No, thank you. No, thanks. Bullshit. Extra no. Don't worry, it's completely harmless. It's fun and games until it lands on you, girl. She's lethal. If she bites, she's lethal? 
What do you mean it's completely harmless then? Long bottom, is it? Hey, Neville, how you doing, baby? Torture? So it just, any, it just tortures whatever you, you can't see the torture, but the thing, the object sees it. Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. Oh, so torture is one of the unforgivables. <laughs> Death instantly? Is, <laughs> is the middle of class the time? Is it the time? Real question, is there a castle that Hogwarts is like- isn't it? Modeled after, I mean, I know this is all a production set or whatever, but like, is there a castle that it's modeled after? Mom, we'll have a cup of tea. I want to show you something. So did Neville feel the torture too because he's so good at herbology? Okay, so you just put your name in and the goblet takes it. Okay. Oh, one of the Weasley brothers. They are old enough to be in it. Oh, that's exciting. It worked? Never mind, never mind. No, it didn't work. <laughs> Age potion reverse. Well, I guess not reverse, but expedite it. <laughs> not reverse. Ah, uh, um, mind your business. Okay, but like, how is it choosing? There's always a rhyme or reason to things in Harry Potter's universe. How is it choosing out of all the names that get put in there? How? I kind of hate that it's you simply because you're brand spanking new to the series for me and I don't like it. Wow. The goblet has more to say, Dumbledore. Harry Potter, isn't it? Harry Potter. You didn't put your name in. How'd that get in there? Ron, what is that face for? Harry didn't put his name in there. Why is it? Why is the goblet spitting it out like that? Well, Harry, why don't you tell him that you didn't put your name in there? Also, it's called Tri Wizard Cup. Three. To think as dark wizards do, Karkaroff. off. Perhaps you remember. Perhaps you remember. So that. I leave this to you, Barty. Huh? Mr. Potter has no choice. You have to? Like, you. You. Y'all, a whole bunch of magical people. Y'all mean to tell me y'all ain't got no kind of spell that can go against this goblet? You mean to tell me there's a cup on fire? And y'all can't do nothing about it? What do you suggest, my neighbor? Put an end to it. Okay. Suggestions on how to do that, girl. If we are to truly discover the meaning of these events. Snape is so hot. Knowing what lies ahead. What are you doing? Did he just extract a memory? Is that what that was? How did you do it? Okay, so Ron's pissy. No way he's like Harry Potter's stupid friend. I can see how he feels that way. Piss off. Okay, I don't like the two best friends fighting. Also, why is Ron so butthurt? So if if, he, if Harry did do it, like Harry's grown. Look beneath those rosy cheeks. Don't hit people. This is cozy. Kind of I hate it. I hate it. Why is this happening? A mere boy, twelve. I was gonna say there is no way in hell that this man is twelve. Fourteen. Uh, that is not his owl. P.S. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but also serious, bring back Hedwig. Harry Potter, age 12. I hate her. Well, hey, serious. This Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. Has it ever been safe at this point? Not ready for this, serious. You don't have a choice. Well, that doesn't feel good. Keep your friends close, Harry. Also not good to say because Ron's upset. Maybe you're imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, Harry, that's not very keep your friends close of you. <laughs> now, Ron, don't be breaking up y'all's friendships with Hermione, too, because you're butt hurt with Harry. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him. Okay, so it's factual. Well, you can tell Ron. I'm not an owl. Good for you, Hermione. But also, snap at your, snap at Ron. Snap at your little boo thing, because Ron started it. How you could be mad at Harry for doing the exact same thing that Ron started? Hagrid, have you combed your hair? Is there a lady? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. Does Hagrid get a love story? Are, they, are these dragons? It was serious. Dragons. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> dragons. That's the first task. I would not be sharing my insider secrets. Stay away from me. Fine. 
I wasn't ready for like a friend breakup. She said to stand it to technically it's a friend. Valid. <laughs> okay, but like it was funny though. You have a fake leg and a fake eyeball? What? Like, what are the odds, dude? Do you have a fake arm too? What are you going to do about your dragon? <gasps> We're helping? You're allowed a wand. I was gonna say, you're literally a wizard. You don't need a broom to fly. <laughs> and I'm a muggle! Come on, Harry, get it together. After that, you just have to battle a dragon. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought they were gonna kiss! This stunt is for champions. Good for standing up for everybody in the room. No, I would not stick my hand in that bag, let me tell you that. The sound of the cannon. Good lord! Well, hold on, what do we do with the sound of the cannon? Shit! We gotta fight these dragons in front of God and everybody? Give me a dragon. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Go away, dragon! <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing like that when your teeth be looking like that. So a broom is not allowed, but a wand is, and I feel like that's all that matters. <laughs> I would simply fly my ass right back to the muggle world, be like, you know what? Being a wizard is not for me. <laughs> Harry, put that thing between your legs and go! That's what she said. No. Nobody's gonna like rush to check on him or make sure he's not dead. Oh, Ron, how does it feel to know your brothers are supporting Harry, but you're not? Close it. Close the egg. Seamus never actually told me anything, so it was, it was really me all along. Well, then grow up and talk to your best friend. <laughs> I can't believe it. She's done it again. Who? Did what? Take a taste for famous wizards. Her latest price. Oh wow, the tabloids, they're on it. I love it. The drama. Later. For what, like an autograph? I told him I'm getting Harry's autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, it's ghastly. <laughs> okay, Ginny, rude. Your mother made it, be nice. Try wizard tournament. That music player is atrocious. For a night of well-mannered frivolity. Huh. Well, you lost me up. Well-mannered. A dance. Fine! Ow! A school dance. The only ever one I went to was my senior prom, so... The babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Try saying that five times faster. <laughs> Stop it, y'all. Place your right hand on my waist. Get into it. This is your chance to touch a girl, Neville. Get up. Go dance, baby. He's been practicing. Uh, he loves to dance. Good for you. Yeah, girls don't really do anything alone. So like, if you want to ask somebody, you're going to have to ask her in front of all her friends. Did she just eat a beard hair? Did you just eat a beard hair? Oh, all the girls want him, but he only wants Hermione, but Hermione don't want him. But her and Ron are not official. And I'm still hoping for the day that her and Harry end up together. Well, Hermione. Oh, girl. <gasps> I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Ron, not a good way to, like, impress her. And I said yes. As you should, girl. Don't wait for Ron. Don't wait for him. Tonight when we get back to the... Oh, don't make Snape pull up his sleeves. Hey, that's where Hermione punched Draco right there. Oh, did Draco ask Hermione? I could see him being into that. Harry. <laughs> I don't like them together. I don't want them to be together. It's all right. It's okay, Ron. It's all right. Goodness gracious, Ron, what happened? Hi, Harry. You have options, baby. You got options. Oh no. Oh no, Ron. I don't know my great aunt Tessie. You look like George Washington. Don't you look dashing? You look unique. <gasps> Let me see! Wow! Wow! Look at you! Wow, girl, get it. Hate them together. Happy for her. Hate them together. Why does Harry look like Beethoven, though? Okay, so Harry don't know how to dance. That's 
Probably should have been discussed beforehand. Get it to it, you two! I love that! Okay. Never saw Ginny and Neville being together, but honestly, I ship it. Okay, well, y'all... Y'all got dates. Uh, well, Ron's got a date. Are you going to ask me to dance or not? No. Good for her for being straightforward. Never mind, off to bed, both of you. You are not their mama, girl. There's always, it's always, after any kind of party, girls that are crying. And I don't feel bad calling us out on that. And I say us, because I have also been that girl crying at the end of the party. Nah, let his, listen girl, you tall. Let his hand be where it lands. You ate a beard hair. Him touching your ass is weird. Come on now. I've seen those tattoos before. Like people in real life, I've seen them. I just got in. Me? You little playa. What you doing out this late, Neville? Lord. Good for you. Neville deserved a win. After four movies of him being like, he deserved it. Actually, we don't really talk at all. Victor's more of a physical being. Tell me more. Look, I realize I never really thanked you properly. Where were you at the dance last night, sir? Those arms are not the arms of a 14 year old. I tell you that. Are there mermaids? Are there mermaids? Listen, there's a reason why he told you to bring that egg in here and I don't think it's for a good reason. Long time, no see. Okay, okay, I respect that though, girl, same. Okay, well if she can get in the water, that means she can see things under the water. And we all know what's under that water. Okay, this is siren energy, and you about to die, Harry. When's the last time you held your breath underwater for an hour, Hermione? You are a wizard. Use magic. But otherwise... I don't know about a turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. I didn't think plants would come in handy for this, but here we go. That looks like green dog poop. You see what's intense, Harry? Do I? Yeah, it's only life or death in this Goblet of Fire contest that he has to participate in, even though he didn't put his name in it. So yeah, he's a little tense, Neville. Oh, okay, I was here for the gills, not here for the feet. Also, not here for the hands. No thank you. But I feel like it's not just swimming to find the, the hidden treasure that was stolen from you. I feel like there's gonna be a lot more, and for that makes me nervous. Cause I know I love The Little Mermaid, like the cartoon movie, but I also know that Sirens, people were actually killers that hid under the water. And I don't like to see them depicted in a bad light. I want them to be pretty and beautiful and like on the surface and sing good songs. <laughs> okay, cute. She has like a little air mask on. That's... Um, that mermaid has like a shark tail. I don't like that. The f is this? What is this? Like just a distraction? They're not really... The Oh, that is them. That is them. That's the treasure. I, I don't like those mermaids. Oh yeah, I guess since the girl is out, like save the other person too. Like that's the right thing to do. Oh my God, what is those? Oh, ap no thanks. No thanks. I hate this. My little sister. Okay, that's very nice. Baby, if a kiss on the cheek did that to you, you clearly have not kissed a girl. Attention! Okay, I love how he uses his wand as like an inner, as like a, not an intercom, but you know, megaphone. You know what, honestly, Draco has not been in the last, like this movie or the last one nearly as much as he was in the first one. Okay, this is weird and there's a backstory here and I need it immediately. Four years later, we stand a bunch of misfits. <laughs> True. That's what's his face's hat. That's what's his face's body. Dead body. Uh, big no. Big no for me on this one. You have the goblet of fire and the basin of water. Oh, this is where Dumbledore pulled out that little thought earlier and put it in. What is this? Like a memory bank? She passed information to know who from inside the ministry Oh, so we ratting on people in this. Severus Snake was indeed a death eater. Downfall turns spy for us. The dad had no idea. What is with the with the tongue licking lizard? It's maddening. Clearly, I can see you're upset. Why do you ask? It's just that I. That's who he saw at the tent with the fire. 
You don't think it's actually happening, do you? Uh, judging by Dumbledore's face. Yes. The Snape tattoo? Kitty weed. Am I correct? Okay, so they can use their resources, but the thing is they have to study everything because they don't know what's coming up. What are they doing the Macarena? Uh, as Mr. Diggory. Hey, everybody remain calm and seated the entire time. You only send up red sparks with their wand. Oh, easy way out, honestly. <laughs> well, that's not how counting works, buddy. Oh, well, the dude who hid the cup pointing in the direction, that's a good hint. Uh, I'm not claustrophobic, but I am scared of the dark and I don't like silence, so this would not be for me. I don't like this game. No thanks. I would simply shoot my little red. Is he killing people? I would shoot my flares and get out of there. Would I lose a tournament? Yes. Would I lose my life? No. Okay, well, he's already lost his mind. Bewitched by who? By what? What did that to him and why hasn't it done it to you guys? Go, go, go. Let him figure it out. Let him blow his little flare whistle. Or you do the flares like you did for her and you go touch the cup. Go Harry, go Harry. While well, he's disheveled and in stress, go. I'm all about saving a life, but let me tell you, the moment I realized he was free, would have went right after that cup. Riddle, as in Tom Riddle, as in Voldemort. Baby Baltimore, what are you doing? That's the forbidden death? <gasps> Killed him immediately. Baltimore got a little naked body, him a little naked thing. Did he just chop off his whole ass hand? Okay, a weird little Baltimore fetus happening right here. Hey buddy, I haven't seen you like this since you were on the back of Professor Quail's head. I'm a real boy. <laughs> oh yeah, you thought you were getting a hand? Okay, you know what? If little kid Ashley would have seen this, would not have been good for me. Lucius. Wait a second. Not surprised. Oh, you did get your hand back. Well, that's good. Ew, ew, why? His toenails. Almost as famous as me. More so, actually. Oh, you're up in a fight. I was not ready for a full on duel right now. What in the world is happening? And how is nobody in the other realm or dimension or wherever the hell they are? How do they not know this is happening? I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. Well, don't sugarcoat it, I guess. I did not realize we were going to find Baltimore in this movie. Harry, I'm going to need you to use some of the forbidden uh, spells. Uh, I feel like. Dumbledore will make an exception, considering who you're fighting. His parents! Oh, I couldn't tell that it was him. Oh, wow, good job, good job, good job. Y'all really cheering, and y'all don't know what's happened. The body must be moved. Too many people. How do you move a body in front of all these people? Like, I don't know, call an assembly or something, but like, all these kids just seen a dead body? And Harry watched it happen? And uh, I just feel like there needs to be some debriefing. Are you all right, Potter? I hate that question. What was it like? What a weird question, dude. What was it like? I don't trust him anymore. Okay, I for real don't trust him now. That has not been alcohol this entire time. That's been something else. I think I said anything about graveyard, Professor. Oh shit, Harry didn't. How does he know? Wolf would have led you into the woods if I hadn't suggested it. Because you wanted Harry to end up with Baltimore? Tongue thing again! <coughs> what does this mean? Runs within the dark, Lord. <laughs> oh, this was all an elaborate trap from this guy to bring Baltimore back! <sighs> Guess it worked. Oh, yes. Ooh, Snape got that truth serum! That's moody, but that is. Then if that's not Moody, then who is Moody? It's what's his tit son because of the tongue thing. Yeah, this guy. Couldn't remember his name. He's back. He's back. 
Kill him, Snape. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. Well, good for you, Dumbledore, telling him. Cedric Diggory will not have died in vain. Talk about it, Harry. You want to say something, talk about it. Be about it. I never liked these curtains. Set them on fire. <laughs> I put you in terrible danger this year, Harry. You put his name in? No spell can reawaken the dead, Harry. I trust you now then. Well, I know it now. Okay, but he doesn't know who to trust because he thought he could trust Moody, but Moody turned out to be like that junior guy who was not a good guy. So how do you know who's really themselves? Also, Voldemort possessed Professor Quell. So like, how do you know who to trust? Wow, we really all say embody each other as if Lord Baltimore isn't back and he didn't just kill a student. All right, let's talk about him. So much just happened. So much happened. Okay, <laughs> this is an awful question. Am I to assume that Harry won the Tri Wizard contest? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess that he won the contest because we know the dead dude didn't win it. Um, nobody else looked excited to, for it to be over, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that Harry won. I know that's not the important thing. The main thing is that Baltimore is back, and that is no bueno. God, I need, I need them three to, like, have a conversation. Because, honestly, her and Ron never made up in this movie. And, honestly, never really did Harry and Ron. They, I mean, they had, and I guess bro apologies are different than, like, girl apologies. Like, we would have sat down and, like, had a whole conversation, like, big cried about it. They were just, like hey turd face and Harry was like hey man and like they were cool so maybe they made up but like Hermione got dude's address I was gonna say number but he was like make sure you write to me so got dude's address Ron and Hermione never made up Harry saw his parents again and then fought Lord Voldemort we don't know who to trust in Hogwarts because per the moody dude turned out to not really be himself and now we know that Draco's dad still actively serves Voldemort like like, I knew I didn't like him, but that was just because I don't like Draco. Like, I just, I just thought they were pretentious buttholes. But, like, it turns out he's actively serving the Dark Lord. I just gotta say that I really love... I said it in the intro, and I'm gonna say it again. I really love how each Harry Potter movie matures as the main characters mature. Because it was kind of, sc like, scary. This was way darker. Like, they progressively get darker. I don't want to say more violent, but, like... This one had all this blood in it. You know, like blood sacrifice and all that jazz? What? Baltimore is back and we know he has a following and we know that Draco's dad is one of the followers and Draco is in Hogwarts and we don't know who to trust in Hogwarts because we don't know who's been bewitched. Harry has watched many people die, but now like made friends with somebody who's gonna die or who died. It's like, I just don't know how this ends. Like how do you defeat he who shall not be named? I mean, now that he's back in like a physical, his own body, I would assume you could defeat him, but I don't know how he would do that. I don't know how, which I know these are all based off books and no, I haven't read the books. I don't know how we are going to defeat he who shall not be named. I don't know where to go from here, but if they're year four, then I guess we just gotta go back to school next year. Every year we go to school, everything falls apart, and then we leave for the summer and we come back and we hope it's all gonna be okay and it never is. <laughs> and that is Harry Potter in a nutshell. And I don't know if I watched the extended version. I don't know if this is theatrical version. I don't know. Five out of five stars. I can't believe Baltimore is back in the physical as his own person. I don't know how we solve it, but I'm excited for fifth year. Five out of five stars for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-averse. Yeah, I guess coming up this Friday, I think it's Chris's request for the original... Superman. Links to social media if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-verse and I'll see you right back here on Monday. No, on Friday. Bye!